Excellent. Got a doll, baby. I love her so. Not like anywhere you go. A man, she anything but tall. Regular size, size, I had a bomb. Got a bomb, baby. Had a bomb. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ram Nexus here with another Fallout 4 mod comparison. Today I'm looking at my top 5 favourite lighting mods for Fallout 4 on Xbox. I'll show you some of the comparison shots I've taken of each mod as well as a quick look at the frame rate tests I've done. None of these mods have been updated since Fallout 4's next gen update. That update notoriously broke a number of mods and mod lists people have been using for years. I'm happy to report that each of these mods worked for me with the latest version of Fallout 4 on my Xbox Series S and Series X. At the end I'll include an honourable mention as well as a couple of light related mod suggestions you might want to have a look at. Of course this list is subjective, it's just my personal preference. I've played a lot of vanilla Fallout 4 recently for trophies and achievements but now I'm keen to find a lighting mod that does change the look of the game maybe make things a bit darker and reduces some of that fog and haziness that Fallout 4 can have. So with that in mind, my number five pick is lightweight lighting. Like all the mods on this list, lightweight lighting started out as a PC mod, which was then ported to Xbox. Lightweight lighting provides darker interiors and darker outdoor night skies. But besides that, this mod to me doesn't seem to make significant changes over vanilla Fallout 4. The mod ran without issue and it didn't impact frame rate at all. Unmodded Fallout 4 is quite bright and I'd be happy to make things a bit darker, which is what lightweight lighting does, but it doesn't seem to make any other changes to the lighting of the game, which is why it's number five. But considering the game doesn't have a brightness adjustment slider of its own, this mod for you might just be what you're looking for. Just know, I had to test the Gloom version of this mod as the standard lightweight lighting mod didn't seem to run properly for me. The main difference is the Gloom version changes the weather patterns, but that wasn't an issue as I've always tested the outdoor sections um, under clear skies. I'll just stop for a second and insert the obligatory request for a like. <laughs> if you don't mind just liking this video, that would be awesome. Thanks. Also, feel free to check out my channel. I've got a bunch of videos, including mod and technical analysis videos, mainly of Bethesda games. I also make the occasional Elder Scrolls lore video, which I think is confusing the hell out of the YouTube algorithm at the moment, but they're fun videos to make. So subscribe if any of those sound interesting. Cheers. Thanks. Number four on this list is an interesting one. It is Enhanced Lights and FX. ELFX is the only mod in this list that added and removed in-game light sources. This change has quite a striking effect on most scenes, as you can see. I think it's very impressive overall. I really like it, and it must have taken a lot of time to make these changes. The scenes are darker overall, which I like, although emitted light does tend to have very well-defined edges, which means there's a lot of spotlighting going on, and that can look great and give a the game a really distinct look indoors but on the downside i think it means there's less dispersed light less diffused reflected lighting indoors i know it's an old game lighting engine that doesn't have a lot of the modern unreal engine 5 lighting features but you can see here for example the left and right light sources are obviously bright and you can see a clear boundary of the light thrown but the light doesn't reach the power box or whatever that is, right in the middle. But you can see that a couple of the other mods, including the default game, do illuminate it. But I don't mind that so much. In fact, this mod would be closer to number one on my list here, except for one thing. It significantly reduces frame rate. Now, to be fair, the mod author mentioned this mod doesn't seem to work properly on Xbox, but it is still a popular mod. I didn't have any crashes with this mod, 
but it does noticeably reduce FPS more than any other lighting mod I tested by a long way. The game does still work with this mod enabled and if you set it to 40 FPS visuals mode, which is my recommended mode, you're not likely to notice that impact. But I run these tests in Bethesda's default mode, which is actually 60 FPS performance mode. And as a result, we do see these big dips. Number three in my light mod list for Xbox is Clarity. I know this is a popular mod and I've used it for quite a while myself. Simply put, Clarity produces a scene of a similar brightness to Vanilla Fallout 4, but with no light bloom, less distant blur and haze and less outdoor fog. And as such, we have a clearer image. We have Clarity. It runs without an issue and does not impact frame rate, which is good. In fact, since it removes some of the visual effects, I found there was less variation in frame rate compared to the vanilla game, which is very impressive. Because of these changes, I prefer it over the vanilla game. On the downside, despite the removal of these added effects, it fundamentally looks very similar to vanilla Fallout. Light sources are the same brightness, colors are the same, and overall light level is the same. I understand this mod can work well when combined with some of the other lighting mods, so just experiment and you might be able to get the benefit of both mods. Right, number two on my mod list is the Commonwealth Visual Overhaul mod, CVO. Like Clarity, we just talked about, CVO reduces effects like fog and god rays, which I think improves the game's look overall. Also, CVO makes colors more vibrant, which um, is a plus and improves contrast, generating darker shadows, which is something I'm really keen to see in my game. I really like the end product here, which you can see in these pictures. The mod loaded without an issue and didn't impact frame rate indoors or outdoors. Okay, here's my honorable mention. NACX fixed. NACX is short for Natural and Atmospheric Commonwealth 10. It was a PC mod originally, but ported over to Xbox. This fixed version runs well and has toned down some of the changes from the original mod. One of its strengths is the insane amount of customization to game visuals it allows. It includes maybe 20 visual presets, but also lets you change many many individual aspects of the game's visuals because it is so customizable the chance of my nac settings being the same as yours are low so i listed it as an honorable mention here for shits and giggles i ran nacx fixed in its default mode against all the other mods here overall default mode was very dark and rarely generated an image that i liked but if you're using this mod you're not going to run it in default mode so don't worry about those results. So if you've got the time to play around with the settings, I have no doubt this mod will help you make the game look just like you want it. Okay, quickly I'll mention two add-on mods I've been using, which are light related. The first is um, illuminated billboards. There's a couple of variants of this. As you can see from this footage, it just adds a, a nice level um, of uh, light to the game. Don't think too hard about where the power has come from or what the actual light source is. Um, just enjoy the looks I'd say. <laughs> the other mod I'll quickly mention is Sunlight Alignment which is a pretty clever mod. The mod's effect is most noticeable at dawn and dusk and it models shadows based on the sun's actual position which is not what normally happens in the vanilla game. Anyway it's just a little one that I always have running in the background. Okay my number one preferred lighting mod for Fallout 4 on Xbox is Fire Light and Fire Dark. This is two mods designed to work together, though you can use just one or the other. Both were made by Phyleth quite a few years ago, 2017. Firelight removes most dust, particulates and haze from indoors. It also improves colors, increases contrast, which makes shadows darker and adjusts brightness. So overall, the game image is darker. Part two is Fire Dark, and there are a few versions of Fire Dark but overall, what it does is it changes the radius light is thrown from the light source. The default value is 256 in game, but I use Fire Dark 164. I've used that for all the screenshots here. Fire Dark 164 reduces the light thrown by lamps, etc., to 164, which is an arbitrary number. It's just a code used within the game. Combined, these two mods have the effect of cleaning up the excessive effects Fallout 4 has. It darkens both indoor and outdoor a little and makes the game look appealing to my eyes. 
These mods combined generate plenty of dark corners for you to worry about without feeling like you're stumbling around in the dark. Here are some comparison shots of the five lighting mods on my list in the order I counted them down. For the record, I don't think Fire Light and Fire Dark provided the best visuals for every comparison that I made, but they never generated a poor image, and sometimes they did show the game at its best. As such, it's the lighting option I'll include in my new Xbox model list I'm putting together. Some of these mods only impacted lighting indoors, which is why I focused on the ironworks and on Fallons in this video. Of course, opinions vary. Is there a light mod that you prefer? Keen to know. To complement the lighting mods, I recommend have a think about grass mods. I have a video about them. A good grass mod really does change the look of the game and you can see a comparison in my video. I also did a frame rate assessment of all the different visual modes Fallout 4 now offers on the Series S and Series X since the next gen update. So you might want to check that out and work out how you want to play the game. Okay, thanks for watching. Cheers. Ram Nexus out.